yeah, it's a sparkling feather for the PCFX. It's a strategy game, but it's it's a bit weird because it's not really like your traditional Final Fantasy tactics. You do have like a whole list of commands you can give to characters, but they really seem to be more of suggestions rather than they are actual commands. So you'll tell somebody, go in this direction and attack this character. Uh, but they'll kind of take their own path to get there and they will do whatever attack they want. <laughs> so so sometimes they'll use their high powered spells. Sometimes they'll just run up to an enemy and even though they're mage, just start whacking away with their little sticks and doing like one damage. And admittedly the game's entirely Japanese. So maybe I'm missing some level of control here. Maybe there's a way to say, hey, only use spells or something like that. I think there is also like a relationship element to uh, how people respond to you in, in battle. I think there's like a, a chance that they'll basically ignore your command or something. I don't know for sure, I just that's my general feeling. But most of the game, it really doesn't seem to matter that much. How I handled playing through that game was basically, I took everybody on the team and then pointed them towards the boss and said, okay, you're on your own. <laughs> and and you know, I would, I would check everybody's health every turn and, and there are some like uh, skills and abilities you get that boost defense, boosts attack. If somebody was hurt or if somebody was like in kind of a sticky situation, I would give them the buff and they just kind of take care of themselves in that situation. Sometimes you could kind of tell them to turn around and go back if you wanted to. Whether or not they listen to you is kind of a whole other thing. Um, but, but yeah, it's a pretty hands-off game. It works, but I think it just kind of makes it less, less engaging. What I do like though, is that there's a really large, diverse cast of characters. Not all of them are super handsome either. Um, well, I think all the ladies are pretty much pretty. And then, you know, once you get to the end of the game, if you've successfully romanced anyone, uh, you get like a special graphic at the end. PCFX games typically have a nice presentation, but it just feels like a lot of corners were cut. Like every music track in that game is like 40 seconds long. It doesn't loop properly. And then just like how the characters move are very choppy as well. I don't know if I'll play more of it. Probably not. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend it either, but it's a video game.